replacing Riley Wallace, who's recovering from heart surgery, and Nash watching Nalen blow up the spot. TCU front court shot 52% in the game. TCU down one. Still in the first. Nalen. Silky smooth on the runner. 23 points in the first half. TCU up 13 at recess. Second half, Prince Fowler drives, dishes to Nalen. Nalen rocks the rim. Hey, don't be shocked, Steve. Earlier this year, Nalen hung 53 in Mississippi Valley State. And then James Penny shoots. No. Nalen getting his tip on. Nalen, 46 points, 16 rebounds. TCU rolls 126 to 84. Their UCLA team taking on number 13, Stanford. Turning point of the first half. Just under 10 minutes left. Jelani McCoy and Pete Van Ellswick pushing and shoving. And Chris Johnson runs in the crash there. That ignited a 30-15 Cardinal run. Peter Sauer connecting. Sauer had 14 first half points. The rebound of the bank there at the buzzer. Stanford up 45-38 at the break. Second half. Cardinal blowing the Bruins out. Sauer another three. And a hush would fall over the crowd. Cardinal build a 15-point lead. Bruins rally. Toby Bailey misses the second free throw, but he coasts to the baseline and tips in the rebound. Bruins bench going wild. They're down five. Then Baron Davis driving. Push, force, shot, falls. 15-0 run to tie it at 70. Here we go. Just over two minutes left. Tied at 75. Tim Young's to Chris Weems. Cardinal by three. Final seconds. Stanford by two. UCLA a chance to tie. J.R. Henderson loses. That was one critical turnover. But Stanford misses a one and one. UCLA still down two. Bailey slips on his drive. Chris Weems gets the ball. Bailey fouls him. Weems would hit his free throws to ice the game. And Bailey involved in two critical turnovers in the final seconds. And that's, of course, Rick Majerus looking for his 300th career win. First half, Jerron Roberts, nice move, the drive. Two of his 20, Wyoming was down four at the break. Less than two minutes left. Utah down two, looking to tie. Andre Miller drives, loose ball, Wyoming comes up with it. Costly turnover for Utah. Wyoming trying to increase their two-point lead. Justin French gets the pass, the drive, the contact. Wyoming upsets Utah, 62-56. Utes now haven't won at Wyoming since 93. Keith Van Horn's freshman year. He takes first place in the Big Ten. Johnson drive, nothing doing. Back out to Jerry Hester to Matt Heldman, who dumps it into Johnson. Something doing now. He only scored four points, but since we talked about him in the lead-in, we had to show him. Moore Johnson picks up the loose ball, hit to Kevin Turner. Turner pulls the trigger on three. Money. Turner, three of seven from three land, a game-high 20 points. Then Matt Heldman drives, dishes to Arius Davis, back to Heldman. Nice passing. Trey. Booyah! As a team, Illini shot over 50% from beyond the arc. They beat the Spartans 84. Iowa hosting Minnesota. Minnesota up five, second half. Iowa's Dean. Oliver under scoop. Oliver 12 points after the free throw. Hawkeyes down two. Under two minutes to go. Sam Jacobson. Break me off a little some some kid. Jacobson 20.6 rebounds. 10.4 seconds to go. Minnesota up two and at the line. Kevin Clark misses the free throw. Iowa pushes and pushes it good. Ryan Lusherman for three. Negative. Oliver on the putback to tie. Negative. Iowa slide continues. They've lost six of their last seven games. 73-71 the final. Gophers avenge in 80. Looking for maybe a new Jordan. St. Louis Larry Hughes follows the ball. Pretty Jordan-like. One-handed flavor. Hughes, 12.6 rebounds. Later, since he's Michael Horton, tries the baseline jumper. Misses, but Kenyon Martin had his back. Saluting his efforts, Kenyon, 7 for 7 from the field. But the game belonged to Reuben Patterson. Can a brother get some baseline love? Reuben, 17 points. Charlie Spoonauer denied his 300th win since he in a rout. Well, we'll show you. Steve Goodrich gets the ball, hits the jump hook in the first half. He led everybody with 21 points. More Princeton. Gabe Willis hits the three-pointer right there. The Willis had 16 points. And now a rarity for Princeton. James Mastaglio goes in and look what he does with the ball. A jam. Only the ninth Princeton dunk this season. Yes, they can do it. James is pumped. Princeton, good. They shot 56. Coy did not start, but he had 13 minutes, four points, first half. 
Baron Davis inside to Chris Johnson. Nice move there, gets the layup. Johnson, 17 first half points. Bruins up by four at the half. Second half, Toby Bailey, J.R. Henderson slams it down. Henderson, a big game here. He finishes with 23. Five seconds left of the game. UCLA up by three. Cal, one last chance. Inbound the ball. Gino Carlisle tries the three to tie off the back of the rim. UCLA holds on to beat Cal at home. Chris Johnson, 28 points to lead the U clans. UCLA shot 54% from the field, including Bobby Laser. That has got to hurt, but he gets knocked down, but he gets up again. Zona up by three. ASU now up two. Missed shot. Laser the rebound. Watch the fall Laser. down shot. He planned it that way. It goes. Sun Devils up 66-62. Arizona up by one. Simon, Simon misses the front end of the one-on-one. -on -one. Any house gets the rebound, but then he's called for traveling. Sun that Devils will foul again. Miss. Michael Dickerson on the line. Misses the Dickerson front end. Follow is missed, but Dickerson right gets the ball. Foul ASU again. fouls again. So this uh, is like Groundhog Day. Again. Dickerson misses again. <laughs> Sun Devils <laughs> finally get it. Call timeout. Nine away. seconds left to go. go ASU sets the up ball. the last play. They're <laughs> down by one. Off the inbound. Alan Lewis. Deal. The They're three ball. Corner pocket. Misses. And that's the and last the chance they have. Luke Olson the and the Cats escape as Arizona wins it. 83-82. The Wildcats win a close one to keep the nation's longest current memory Stanford Cardinal only up two at the half. Second half, outside shooting of Arthur Lee and then the inside play of Tim Young. Watch the hook. He gets the bucket. That keys a 28-10 second half run. Young again shows strength inside. Gets it to fall. Gets the foul. 19 points for Young. More Arthur Lee. That one's from outside. Five for eight from three on the night. Arthur Lee finishes with 23. Best best in the ACC. Right behind him, Antoine Jameson at 61.2. And we have the Antoine meter going. He gets his first shot. It's rising. Second shot goes for Antoine Ching. Jameson on the Carter miss. The putback. Yes, three in a row. And then floating along the baseline, no one guards him. I must shoot. I will score. Four for four. But he's not done. Spinning inside. His percentage rising. And then another hoop, six of six to start the game. Jameson, why not? I'm feeling it, seven of seven. And then some bad news. Antoine, nah, he missed the shot. His percentage dips a bit. But then Jameson comes right back, fling, and it goes in. He hit 12 of his first 14. Then from the baseline, 62 points now on the field goal percentage. Nine of 10 in the first half, 18 points. Second half, more Jameson. How did he get up and tip in the Adamola Okolaja miss? He goes 16 of 23 for 36 points, and he passes Carter for the ACC field goal percentage. UNC cruises the final 80. People rocking in the stands. Duke averaging an ACC best 7.6 three-pointers and off the ensuing tip. It's a three-pointer. Trajan Langdon, one of his six threes. Duke with 11 in the game. Steve Wojciechowski, no. Chris Carrawell, no. Shane Battier, yes. Battier, seven points, a game-high 12 rebounds. Blue Devils up 21 at the break, and Dave Odom gesturing wildly. Nothing worked. Loose ball, Ricky Pierce to William Avery. Easy to, and the Blue Devils win their 20th state at home, cruising the final set. Would this be the game for Ole Miss? Kentucky looked good early on. Great touch pass by Saul Smith. Download to Nazi Mohammed with a pretty pass. Mohammed 12 first half points. Kentucky led 34-23 at the break. SEC's leading scorer, Ansu Cisse, only two first half points, but that would change. Second half, Cisse, I say Cisse with a two-handed jam. Then, Cisse, Cisse working his way. Tough jumper in the lane. Mississippi now up line. one. More Cisse. I say. Cisse, Cisse hitting. Up pull up jumper. 14 second half points. Ole Miss now 59 52 leading. Now Kentucky Patrick. would cut the lead, though. Jeff Separd from, Shepard dare we say it, Louisville. Hits the long three. Kentucky down only three. But on the next Mississippi possession, tragedy for the Wildcats. Keith Carter hits the three. Oh, by the way, he's fouled. A four point play. Give it up for Keith. And Ole Miss pulls off the upset, the final, 73-64. Tennessee with tempo, Tony Harris with nobody guarding him. Part of a 13-0 run for the Vols. Then C.J. Black calling his shot like Babe Ruth. Tennessee up 45-27 at the break. Nolan Richards, he said, don't you do that. Pat Bradley coming back for Arkansas. Big three-pointer, he had four in the game. Then Tariq Wallace, way outside. He had six in the game. 12 seconds left. Arkansas down three, 74-71. 
They need a good shot. Instead, they get a really bad one. Kareem Reed off balance. Nolan Richardson says we will discuss shot selection at the next practice. State, Kansas up by three. Ryan Robertson, nice no looker to Paul Pierce. Jay Hawks lead 38-30 at the half. But this was Rafe LaFrance's game. He can pass. Steps out of the double team, finds Pierce for the dunk. Pierce 13 later in the second half. LaFrance outside, nobody's on him. He scores 10 straight points. Jayhawks up by 11. He can play D2. He's inside. Takes the charge. He does it all. Big game for LaFrance as Kansas wins at 73-58. LaFrance, he ends the night with 20. And Illinois Purdue, Chad Austin gets the pass outside. Nails the three-pointer. Purdue leads 74-70. Illinois now down by three. Jerry Hester takes the long three-pointer in and out. There's a foul. Tony Mayfield on the free throw line. Yeah. And misses it. Ron Kruger says we got one last chance. Seven miss. Still 75 72 Purdue. 2.7 seconds left. Kevin Turner getting the inbounds pass. The launch. Hits the rim. Doesn't count. Boilermakers hang on at home. 75 72. Chad is a whoop. Nice trip. First half. Sam Jacobson. Watch the drive. The leaner. The bucket and the foul. Jacobson 5 for 5 at the half. We're tied at 34. Second half. Different story. Jacobson from outside. Clangs it. Jacobson from 15. Clangs it. Jacobson, one of nine in the second half. Then Jacobson has the ball, loses the ball. Mateen Cleves picks it up, goes to work. Give, go. Jason Klein gets it back for the lay-in. Cleves finishes with nine points, nine assists, and a new school record in Utah up by two. Andre Miller finds Michael Doliak the easy. Oh, misses it. Time running out. Matola. The chance to give Utah 20 points at the half, but the follow-up's too late. Doliak, the lob pass, it doesn't fall. Rick Majerus is not amused. Utah up by eight. Doliak <laughs> going up, gets blocked on the jam. Andre Miller gets the putback. Utah up now by 10. More Andre. All Andre all the time. Gets the tough who gets the foul. Miller finishes with 16, and Rick is happy. He doesn't look like it, but he really is, as Utah wins. Sir, UConn, Kevin Freeman loses Freeman the ball, but Ricky Moore gets it back. Back to Freeman for two. Huskies up early. More UConn passing. Richard Hamilton. McQuincio Hardnett. The nice drop pass to Hamilton. Huskies up by 14 at the half. Second half. Still more UConn passing. Khalid Alamine. The break. The nice look ahead to Freeman for the jam. UConn up by 20. Little showboat here. Elamine to Hamilton. Hamilton off the backboard and gets it to Freeman. We're just showing off here a little. As the Huskies roll, they improved to 50. 15 and 0 at home this season with the victory. Spots up, top of the key, nobody's on him. He hits it. 14 in the first half for Bergen. Cues up by five. However, bad news later in the half for West Virginia. Top scorer Damian Owens falls into the knee right there of teammate Brent Solheim. The knee hits Owens square in the lower back, and you can tell he is hurting. Goes out, comes back in, tries to check back into the game, and he says, you know what, I can't do this. He does not return. Second half, Syracuse pouring it on. Eaton Thomas inside, the spin, the baseline, and the jam. 19 points, seven boards, six blocks for Thomas. Van Bergen putting the Mountaineers away. Fifth three-pointer of the afternoon makes it look easy. A painful loss for Owens and West Virginia. Todd Bergen finishes with 26. Chris Kirkland, Kirkland sorry. Larry Kettner. He Not sorry with the jam. jam. UMass led by 10, 41, 31 at the half. Second half, Kazell Wesson gets it down Bable, low, and dare I say it, Wesson. showing off the Wessonality. Somewhere, Florence Henderson is smiling. Wesson with 21 and 16. But the Minutemen too strong. Kirkland in the lane and jams at home. Speedy Morris, his explorers lose their sixth in a row. UMass wins 81-71. Graphic change, 23 Xavier and Virginia Tech. Second half, Xavier up 50-44. TJ Johnson with the pass to Darnell Williams with a lay-in. Williams with 22 points. Points, and the Hokie Happy. You're behind! Xavier now up by four. The Musketeers working to Williams in the corner. It's a magic moment. His 1,000th career point. Xavier goes on to win 74-63. Graphics change. Number 24, Rhode Island and Temple. Owls up 55-48. Quincy Wadley makes it a 10-point game, hitting you three. He finished with 12. It's now a four-point game under a second left. After the missed free throw, Preston Murphy lets it fly, and it's good! It's good! 
John Cheney, it doesn't matter. You win. Smile. You win. John, you win. They win 68-67. Upset in the A-10. Dayton drops 18th rank GW 78-60. Midway through the first half since he had five. Bobby Brannon with the miss. Destroyed underneath, a.k.a. fouled hard. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, testosterone began to flow freely. Early second half since he up nine. Watch underneath. Lamb shoves Michael Horton. And here we go. Horton shoves everybody out of the way. Shoves the ref out of the way. Bobby Brannon has to hold him back. I think Mr. Horton will be hearing from the conference about this. Give Brannon those style points on the tackle. Since he poached, Bob Huckins says that South Florida's team is playing dirty. The game resumed. Eight Meadowlands, Colin Charles takes it coast to coast. Called for the offensive foul. Basket did count. St. John's up three at halftime. Pirates would make a charge. Shaheen Holloway breaking ankles. Holloway had 17. Seton Hall up by four. In the end, though, Felipe Lopez. Six minutes left. Tie score. Not anymore. The lead they would not relinquish. Three minutes left. Give credit to Lopez. His NBA career given up for dead after his sophomore year, but he has come back, have a great senior season. Lopez had five threes, 19 points. St. John's win. State. Chris Heron looking for Terrence Roberson. Drives, loses the ball. Michael Ruffin picks it up. Gets it to Rod Thompson, who is fouled. Fresno State down one. Thompson shoots 82% from the line. Fresno State gets the rebound. Rafer Austin brings it up and is looking for Roberson. The floater won't go. Tremaine Folks can't get it to go, can't get the rebound. Michael Ruffin just holds on to it as time runs out. Ruffin at 24 points, 12 rebounds. Tulsa picks up the win. Tulsa.